they laughed at you, but they'll soon be begging you. They hated on you. They were an enemy. There they were mocking you. There they were disrespecting you, treating you with contempt. They didn't realize that a powerful person was in their presence. They didn't realize how great you are. They had no clue who you really were. They had no idea who they were mocking, who they were laughing at. They underestimated you. They underrated you. They were an enemy of yours. They were a big hater. They were so mistaken. Greatness. Greatness was present and they didn't understand it. They didn't realize it. The chosen one that you are. They didn't appreciate the fact that royalty was in their presence. They took you for granted. That same person who attacked you back then who disrespected you back then the day comes the day comes when they will be begging you for advice begging you for help asking you questions how did you do it how are you winning like you are how are you victorious like you are how are you so happy how are you in that place of joy that you're in how are you manifesting your heart's desires the same person who ridiculed you back then your enemies your haters they will be asking you like somebody said whether you're hiring they want to work for you whether literally or figuratively they want to be around you. They want to be a friend. Your haters will pose as a friend. Your enemies will pretend to be friends. Why? So that they can take advantage of you. They are doing it. They are pretending to be your friend. So that they can use you. So that they can get something from you. But they hated you back then. They were hating on you back then. They're still hating on you. Now that they realize that you're moving on up. Don't think they are for you. They are still there all jealous of you. All envious of you. How come you're winning and they're not? It is because of their nasty attitude. It is because of who they are. Somebody said that the best revenge is massive success. So while they were busy mocking and making fun of you, you were busy putting in the work. You wouldn't let what they say about you define you. Just because they said you couldn't do it just because they said you were inadequate you were not good enough you were not talented doesn't mean that you would have believed them you wouldn't have given them your power and you did not and with your attitude with your mindset with the way you think the only way is up the only way is up you will be winning at things that they want to win at and there they will want you to teach them would you believe it <laughs> they think you don't know that they were the, the biggest hater that they were hating on you that they were working against you and now they are posing as a friend now they want you to teach them how to do it now they want to learn from you how to win but back then, they didn't care how you felt. They were all about destroying you. They were all about 
making you feel small. They didn't care how you felt. They had no regard. There they were, they and their friends. Their bandwagon. They and their colleagues. Coming together in an attempt to destroy you. In an attempt to bring you down. Working against you, laughing at you, mocking you. Getting people to join them. They are not empathetic. They are not empaths. And you see sometimes in life. Sometimes in life you will be down there in the valley. Who is going to be there with you? When you are not winning like you did before. A lot of people will see this as a great opportunity to mock, to criticize, to laugh at you. The people you least expected, the people you least expected, people you once walked with, people you thought were on your side, people you helped. And the opposite is also true. Sometimes when you rise, when things start to happen for you, somebody was there with you when you were down there in the valley, they get all jealous. They get all envious of you and now they don't want to be around you. They are jealous. It hurts them to see that you are winning. But if they were smart, they would have stayed there with you. They would have learned from you. But no. They went on a rampage. No, they started to attack you. They started to say, hey, who does she think she is? Who does he think he is? Instead of cheering, instead of saying, great job, congratulations. What were they doing? Attacking, trying to bring you down, telling lies about you. They and their false narrative about you. But time goes by and they realize how unstoppable you are. They realize that you're winning despite all of their attacks. Despite what they do. And there they are pretending. Pretending as if the two of you are cool. Pretending as if you are their friend. As if they are your friend that is. Faking it. Because... You have something they want. Not because they love you. Not because they are a true friend. Not because there's any love in their heart. They see what you have and they want to steal it from you. They want to take it from you. They see your results. Let me tell you something. Big results are coming your way. Great things are coming your way. You will win like never before. Things will work out for you like never before. Despite all of what they've said. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you think. What matters is what you say. You are the one who gets to choose for you. As the co-creator that you are with the most high. With source. <sighs> with infinite intelligence, with the universe, with God. You are the one who will choose great things for you and it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Nobody gets to decide for you, thankfully. Because if it were them choosing for you, you'd have been in great trouble. You wouldn't have won. You wouldn't have reason. You'd have stayed at the bottom. But I am here to remind you that it is only the beginning for you. Bigger victories lie ahead for you. Bigger wins are about to come your way. If you know it to be true, it is true. You are an advancing man or an advancing woman. All you do is advance. You are that man who can or that woman who can. You can do it. When they say you can do it, you know that you can do it. When they say that you cannot, you know that you can. And because you know that, that is what is going to happen in your life. You will manifest your heart's desires. You will get what you want. And these people will be looking at you. All jealous, all envious, they're not true friends. Now they're there pretending because they want to take advantage of you. 
you and your good heart. They know that you are a good person. They know that you are a helpful person. Hmm? They see you winning, but they, don't, they do not understand that it takes work. They do not understand that it is not an easy road. You have to put in the work. A lot of people, they want something, but they are not willing to put in the work. Have you seen this? Somebody's asking you questions. How do I do this? How do I do that? How do I win at this? How do I win at that? And they want you to tell them, hey, just press this button and you will get that job. Just press this button and you will get $100,000. You will get a million dollars. You'll be rich. You will get everything you want. Not just money, but whatever it is. Just press this button and you will fulfill your heart's desires. You will get what you want. As soon as you tell them, hey, there's work involved. They're even mad at you. They want an easy way, thinking that there's an easy way. If it's money, some people are looking for a get rich quick. They want to get rich quick. You know, they don't want to put in the work. They are too lazy. So they will ask you questions. How is it done? How do you do it? Not understanding the amount of sacrifice, the level of sacrifice you had to make. Not understanding how much you are to put in the work, how dedicated you are to be. And depending on what it is, the sleepless nights where you are to be awake, putting in the work. They don't understand it, but they just want, they just want what you have. They just want what you have. And they want to take advantage of you because they realize you have a good heart. They realize you're a good person. And then what happens after that? They're not even grateful. No gratitude. You're trying to help them. They're not thankful. They realize it, it's work after you put in so much trying to help this person. Where are they? They're ungrateful. So the good person that you are, sometimes despite all of what they've done, you figure, okay, let me help them. But very often they've not changed. They are the same person they were. They're not a good person. They're not grateful. They will not say thank you. You're giving them all of this advice. But it's as if you're throwing pearls at swine. They're not ready. Leave them where they are. Oh, they think it's easy. They're looking at you and your achievements. A lot of people, they see your glory, but they don't know your story. So they who hated on you back then, all of a sudden, they want to befriend you. How can you befriend somebody like that? How can you really work with somebody like that? Even if you want to help them, how far can it really go? How much can you really assist them? Hmm? How about helping others who deserve that help? People who are grateful, people who are not as unkind, people who will appreciate your help, people who will not stab you in the back, people who will be for you, people who will help you grow as well, people who will not take you away from what you're about, from your purpose, people from your purpose, people who will not lead you astray as we hear on this advancing channel. Did I say to smash that like button? Somebody, everybody, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm as we hear in nature. The birds are chirping away and it's so calm, it's so peaceful in nature. Let me tell you something, it's important to get into nature <laughs> and be at one. Be at one with nature as the birds fly above, fly by. Be at one with the most high, be at one with source, be at one with God. <laughs> These people who were so against you back then, now 
they want something something from you now they want to pose as a friend they want to use you beware of people like that they think you don't see what's going on you see through them you realize that they are not genuine you realize that they're fake and they just want to use you they want what you have they only want to take advantage of you oh my goodness back then back then they were laughing at you but it is not about the first laugh the same person who was laughing at you is now begging you is now asking for help but they were laughing at what you were doing they thought you were insane you didn't know what you were about like I said it's not about the first laugh it's about the last laugh he or she who laughs last laughs the best so let them laugh at you they have no idea what's coming let's say back then you were just starting you were like let's say you were small just starting like a lion a baby lion a cub mm, they're laughing unable to roar they're laughing but one day you become that mighty lion who's laughing now who's laughing now you've won big you will win big like never before and you will shock your haters you will render them speechless they won't know what to say they won't know what to do that person they took for granted which is you look how far you've come and look how you're winning today look how everything is working out for you look how you are manifesting your heart's desires they can no longer laugh they're asking you hey do you have any tips for me do you have any advice for me oh wow <laughs> But back then, you were laughing at me. They were laughing. These people have no shame. <laughs> they were laughing. They were mocking. They were part of the crew. They were part of the, the group. Who was trying to destroy you, was laughing, was mocking. Who didn't care how you felt. Who was bullying you. The bullies that they are. The trolls that they are. For some of you, it happened to you on social media. The trolls that they are. Have they changed? Had they changed, that would have been a good thing. But very often, these people have not even changed. And they just want to use you. They just want to take from you. Beware of them. Be careful with these people. As we hear on this advancing channel, we're just chilling in nature. And I am sending you all of this good energy. I am sending you all of these good vibes. I am here to remind you that all is well. That everything is working out for you. All you do is win. You see through these people. They cannot fool you. <laughs> they can fool some of the people some of the time. But they cannot fool all of the people all of the time. They cannot fool you. As I look forward to reading your comments. To hearing what you have to say. Like the video if you haven't done so. Share the video. You are valued and you are appreciated. My name is Manchus. As you already know, this is the Advancing Channel. And I am saying, one love, God bless, thank you for watching, and all the best.